to Crusader Kings 2 multiplayer let's play or this <laughs> whoops I mean hello everyone and welcome back to my paradox uh, mega campaign we're doing Crusader Kings 2 right now and apparently I need some new council members all right <laughs> whoops oh well where were we yes we must now progress onward as the caliph has uh, decided to go crusading for Armenia randomly. So, I figured this is a good time to... be trying to gather... things. Er, and by things, I mean... duchies, possibly. Just one, and I've decided for it to be Alexandria. Which will cut the Fatimids in twine, and give me access to the Mediterranean. So it's of great strategic importance to me that I do manage to gather troops I need. I have no idea if he's like trying to gather enough troops to attack me or something. Like I said, they're all in range of each other and I should theoretically be able to uh, respond and get troops in in time and everything. I ho or at least hopefully I am. Mara has been converted to the Iconoclast Faith. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, he's got a lot of crap going on over there, so I don't know. It's not looking good for me. I'll say that much. There's a spoil limit, like 7k? Okay. Ah, 10k there. Hmm. I need to watch closely. Yeah. I think that's what he's doing right there. Huh. Thirteen thousand, that's worrying. Start moving towards. Okay, he's not going for that. I, d I just need to tread lightly here. Perfect. Beta has converted. Excellent, that's there. So yes, the faith is spreading. <coughs> oh, sorry. Okay, so he is not attacking me. Whew, false alarm, false alarm. It's okay. Not to say it's, you know, not necessarily a bad thing to be this paranoid. Alright, so now I can move my troops up and around. And start besieging the remaining provinces. And now I think they'll be a little closer in proximity, so it should be a bit safer. Or at least, you know, I hope it is. It's going to be a long set of sieges, though. I'm just trying to avoid conflict with them altogether. If I can get through this uh, war without, you know, a single battle, that's fine by me. Crack through this uh, coastal blockade and make it to the Mediterranean. <laughs> wow, thanks. You like the Caliph more than me. I really wish I could excommunicate you for that one. Excommunicate from the Iconoclast Church. Yeah. I wish. Alright, so at this point there are three... S we are gaining uh, much of Alexandria together. 72. I may not even have to siege all of it. 
I think it might just get to 100 soon. Do I want to? No, it's not worth it. They're all controlled by vassals, though, that's the problem. Like, if I went to attack, like, the main holding here or something, it's under the control of the Caliph himself. And all his troops are missing. Okay, so I should just need to finish these sieges. Let's get on with it. Currently, absolutely nothing else is as imperative as that is right now. Jihad for Arabia. I will give up all of Arabia if it means I get Alexandria and the rest of Egypt. Mercuria is converted to the Iconoclast faith. Most excellent indeed. Interestingly enough, it appears that the Seljuk doesn't didn't want to join in with uh, the Crusade. Where is the Caliph? Okay. Again, where is this guy, though? <laughs> Not much left of him. Uh, if I take that, doesn't the crusade just instantly end? Actually, I think it does. Okay, I, I think I can win this, then. So long as the um, Seljuk do not join in, that is. Because it might be a little trickier that way. He became cruel. Damn it. Alaban has converted. Wow, geez, that's a lot of quick conversions. Alright, so... Once the sieges are done here, I will run the troops over to here, and uh, take him over. And another one, down, boom. And... Come on, collapse and maybe give me 100%, or is it just going to be like 99 or something? 100! yippity ki yee Yeehaw! Yeehaw! I've got Alexandria! Now it doesn't really matter if I hang on to Arabia. I, I'm not all that interested in it. I mean, I've already turned it all iconoclast. So it's not even like it's useful to them. Or, well, it is, but it's not as useful to them. Alright, so get the troops over to the Sunny Caliph. I'm just gonna walk in and storm him. Or at least that is the plan, but. Yeah, I have to try and avoid spending too much time in territories together. Alright. Let's try and let, let's kind of hopscotch ahead here. Yeah, like I said though, the, the trick I guess is trying to get a hold of the one province right there, or the one castle. If I can do that, I win. But, uh, holy crap, I am way over the Domesne limit. Get rid of you, get rid of you. We'll see about the rest. Still way over the Domesne limit. Alright, um, I think get rid of the baronies, that frees out, or rather I should also get rid of that, and that. I guess I'll get rid of that, and that. No, yeah, that there. Twelve. Boom, eleven out of eleven. I'll worry about Alexandria on my own time, but... Really? You like every freaking... She likes both the Caliphs more than me. She 
sure. He can be money spy master. Just hurry up and get there. That's all that matters right now. Get from point A to point B. Any manner you guys see fit. Alright, so. As I've stated, the tricks just seems to be getting to there. And then winning. <laughs> Win but a single siege in there. The problem is, I think I'm at war now with everybody here. Yeah, he, they've all joined in the crusade. Despite the fact he's Zikri. Their overlord is sunny, that's all that matters, I suppose. Okay, so I guess I can't just simply do that then. Taking over just the single province will take too long. Alright, got him. Just killed a pile of his troops. Sure. Good, and... Alright. Now, you see, this is what the problem I have. If, if he'd won that battle, it would be like 10% more score, and I get 1.35 from that. And then, in some sheer amount of amazement, the Caliph manages to get together a ridiculous number of troops. When the heck does that arrive? February 7th, okay. Yeah, I can salvage many more troops by just disbanding <laughs> and re enabling them. I still don't have mercenaries available to me. If I move court to Alexandria, though, I may have mercenaries available to me. How do I do that again? I forget. Crap, I haven't done this in a long time. Um, how do I move court to Alexandria? I think it's, there's got to be a button around here somewhere. Create a new vassal? No. Move capital or something? I know I can do it. I've done it before, I think. I can only do it once during my ruler's lifetime or something. Uh, I have no idea. If only I could, though. Hmm. Well, okay, I've got 20k thanks to my ridiculous vassal levies that have been, they've been working on. Okay, let's try and gather together in Gondor. Alright, so it looks like the Byzantines and the HRE aren't joining together anymore. Come on. I need a uh, decent alliance, though. Or something. I might just hand over Arabia soon, I don't know. Defending it against this uh, onslaught seems impossible. It really is what it does seem to me is an onslaught. Crusade for Jerusalem. Well, I have, uh, you know, whacked the Fatimids a good couple times. The thing about that is, I have the ability now to maybe take Demadia and Cairo, and even more perhaps, while they do the Crusade, because that, you know, the Fatimids are currently crippled. But that would mean that I'd have to commit troops there, as opposed, or as I'm pointing at the screen like you guys can see that. I'd have to commit troops to the Fatimids, which would mean that I would not be able to hold off the Seljuk, and even then, there's no guarantee I can hold them off. Uh, I don't know, this is going to be a decision of the lifetime. Uh, I'm going to take a bit of a break, everyone. I've been at this for a while. Um, if this turns out to be an episode, I don't know. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.